When I started getting on the computer and doing email and Facebook, uh, Bill asked me, what, what is Facebook all about? I don't understand it. So I sat down with him and I showed it to him. I said, and he still didn't get it. So I made a Facebook account for Bill. And he would every day say to me, did anything come up on the Facebook? And he did not get up. He did not get on it himself. He did not sign into email. So he would ask me every day when I would sign in and I'd get on it. And one day there was a message from his oldest nephew that said, Uncle Ike, all his side of the family called him Ike. Uncle Ike, this was like about three months before he died. You still have time to repent. When I, I saw that and I read it to Bill, I thought to myself, I've got to answer this, you son of a bitch, is what I said to myself. And Bill said, go ahead, write whatever you think. I wrote a response to that, and I showed it to Bill, and he read it, and he said, perfect, but don't send it. And I said, why not? He said, because you're not going to change him. One month after Bill died, I got a letter or a note or a phone call or some kind of indication from everybody in the family on both sides of our family, except for the oldest son of Bill's brother. And I thought to myself, it's odd that I haven't heard from him. So I thought to myself, I'm going to send him that letter. And I told him in the email, for all your Christian values, that you could not have sent me some kind of note of, of, cons of condolence. And as I said, I sent him the letter that Bill told me not to send him. And I heard back from him, and I got a recorded video from a, another evangelical pastor that he knew about the evils of homosexuality. I was so upset by that that I told his nephew, never send me another thing again because it will go directly into junk mail. Don't waste your time. Don't bother. And I've never heard from his nephew six and a half years later. If someone told you as a gay man or a gay woman or a transgendered or whatever and got a letter about the evils of homosexuality, my reaction would be respond to it. Tell them why you think they're wrong, but don't spend a lot of time trying to convince them that they should change what they think about a gay relationship.